How is it that this is a st it's still funny it's a masterpiece video even after all these years I guess it's just 2017 it's not even that old how does it still hold up uh, and and just to get this off the chopping block because I know people are gonna ask about this I am familiar with kiss me kill me the sequel to this video I uh, I gotta say it doesn't have the, it's it's not the same I appreciate the amount of work that went into that video, but it's just not the same. Uh, because th basically they made a follow-up to this video that's like a new song, and it's like, an, to my knowledge, a completely original song. Like they just like had someone sing the lyrics. It's not the same. Like this is like a legendary YouTube poop, basically. You know, and it has that YouTube poop energy. It told him no. It. That's what makes it so funny. But it is very high quality. So, uh, I acknowledge the follow-up to this, but I, I'm not a huge fan, honestly. Uh, but Boys Are Back in Town to Kill You is an absolute classic. And the boys are back in town to kill. The, the Mario Brothers, their thirst for blood knows bo no bounds. They will kill forever. Uh, we're gonna play Partners in Time, which is the second game in the original trilogy. But now there's, like, way too many... Mario and Luigi games to call it a trilogy. I uh, it's pretty good, but I th I feel like it gets overshined, overshadowed by uh the first and third game. It's like imagine it's like this game is like a giga chad, you know, but it's like zoom the camera out and there's two even bigger, chattier giga chads on either side of it, you know. That's this game. Uh can't wait for the Vore game. This one's got a little bit of Vore, actually. So if you're willing to stick with it, uh, you can get your get your rocks off or whatever you're looking to do there, Vore fans, Vore enjoyers. Uh, we got some cool art. This is some old art from Sam Voss. Uh, thank you very much for this, Sam Voss. It's very cool. I couldn't put my finger on what seemed familiar about this image. And I did some thinking, and then it hit me. It has a, it has inspiration from a certain panel of JoJo Part 1 in mind. I don't know if that's actually intentional. But then, I was like, no, no, that's not quite right. Like, maybe that's just a coincidence. I was like, what's, what's going on with the legs? Like, the legs are giving me deja vu. And then, it hit me. It's John Lennon. It's John Lennon walking. Uh, so... Clearly this piece takes a lot of inspiration from various walks of life and cultures, uh, which, you know, as all art, all great art should be. So, thank you, Sam Voss. Uh, hold on, I need to snort with my nose. <clears throat> okay. This is a DS game, so it's gonna be a little hokey. I'm, I've seen the way that some other streamers do DS games, and I don't really like it. The weird, like, have one screen in one corner and, like, bigger than the other. I'm just gonna have it, like, like a rod. Like, it's just gonna be a column in the center of the screen. <clears throat> a rod! I really fucked up saying that word, didn't I? Nintendo. Ah, yes. I, I played all three of the original series when I was, like, maybe 16 or 17? Uh, great games. Now, I do also have a separate setup here to, like, simulate the size of the screens, you know? It's like... The... If it's like a hurricane here in Duck World... It's the DuckTales. Uh, I don't know if we want to do this, though, but it, I, I was looking at the title screen and I was like... It doesn't look- it doesn't look very good without the little gap, you know? So maybe at any point if we want to do it in, like, the battles... ...and shit, then we can do that. But, uh... So, yeah. 
it basically, like here, this looks better, but I think for a lot of the game, this is also gonna look fine. But we'll see. We'll do, I, I have I have literally not gone past the fucking like convert. Like, do you want to start a save file screen uh, in testing this? And it's been a while since I played this. I only played this game once, whereas I think I played Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside Story a couple times each. So uh, yeah. All right, let's stop fucking around. Enough talk. Guys, I don't want to freak anyone out, but we got a hype train! Oh, God. What an obnoxious mechanic. Thank you, though, for the support. Did we, what did we even get? Subs? Thank you for the subs. Level 2 hype train. Holy fucking shit, let's fucking go! Look, even the little pins in the corner of the screen are red and green. Uh... I was partially- I was thinking about this series because Gexuma has been doing edits of my Superstar Saga playthrough. Uh, and I haven't been really- like, I don't watch them all the way through, but they seem- they seem high quality. Gexuma's cranking out that shit, too. Uh, you know, I hate to do this, guys, but it- the crop is bothering me. There you go. Boom. There was just like a pixel missing off the top. So go check out Gexuma if you want to see if you're like, oh, I want to watch his playthrough of Superstar Saga, but I don't want to watch the VODs. Uh, Gexuma's got those high-quality Lark edits, too, sometimes. Good shit. Would recommend. Alright. I'm ready. I remember this being a pretty fucking cool game. It's got, like, aliens. Really, really long ago. I forgot there was a Star Wars reference. Maybe that's not even a Star Wars reference. The Shroobs! I remember them. There's like a shroob queen and she's hot. I was always like, she's hot. In a dark, dank place shunned by starlight. Where the sun don't shine. Bowser's inside asshole. There was this creepy planet that... The shape of this planet makes no sense. Shrooba. They spent their time staring creepily into space. Just creepy daydreamers, right? Wrong. It has like Independence Day vibes. I think it might even have an Independence Day reference in it. Like this? No, not really. Shadows are not a trademark of Independence Day. They fixed their creepy gazes on a distant world, a land of beauty and peace. I wonder, do they say the name of the planet that the Mushroom Kingdom is on? No, it's probably just gonna say our planet. <laughs> Silhouette of a dick. Oh, ho! Oh, oh, right! Baby! So this is... Uh, the stream is called Baby Game. And th this is why. There's babies in this game. And it's young Toadsworth. This game's awesome, actually. I think... I think I'm in for a treat. Because I... I, I barely remember... Like, I, I feel like... No, I remember bits of this game, but... I... Uh, I remember a lot of it, but... It, I feel like a lot of this is gonna be fresh to me. Because there was a bunch of stuff in like Superstar Saga where I was like, I've heard this dialogue like a hundred times. This I've only done it once. And this is an overlooked game. Tentrumy. Is Baby Peach in this too? I think she is. Yeah. Yeah, cause she, I'll, I won't spoil anything, but there's crucial plot points relating to Baby Peach. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Here we are, Babs. So, oh fuck. I can't jump. Hold on. Am I gonna need to futz with the controls? God damn it. Oh! Okay, well actually, because I have my layout in such a fucking ridiculously whack way, I think this actually should be a snap to fix. I didn't have the buttons bound for them. Boom! Oh, easiest game I've ever played in my fucking life. So you jump with A and B in Mario uh, Superstar Saga, and then here with the with the the babies, you use X and Y. All right. Oh my God, they're fucking dead. This game's like darker than the other two, as well. We're gonna hear that some of these Bowser Jr. voice lines a lot in this game. Prince Bowser. Right, it's Baby Bowser, not Bowser Jr. Oh, no. But he looks like Bowser Jr. Oh, fuck. Actually, is that... No, this is Baby Bowser, right? This music is so nostalgic. 
No such thing! And God! It looks like Peach wants this to happen. Your turn, super diaper fuck. Mario's wearing his gamer diaper. He's gonna do the fucking Erd Tree Avatar butt slam and spray Bowser Jr. with poop. Baby Bowser, fuck. This is kind of fucking me up. Because, to those of you who don't know, I'm I'm always so, like, semantic about this whole, all this, like, Mario shit. Hold on, let's try it while we're in battle. Uh, it looks... Uh, do I really... Do we care? I mean, that does look better. I also don't have... They're not, like, perfectly aligned. Eh, let's... You know, let's keep it at this for now. I might get an overlay for next stream. I don't know. I might fuck around with it. Uh... What the fuck was I talking about? Mario's gamer diaper? <laughs> no, uh... Baby Bowser is a different character from Bowser Jr. Because in Yoshi's Island, it's like Bowser as a kid, or as a baby, you know. But it's kind of fucking me up. They, like, look very different. And in this game, young Bowser just looks like Bowser Jr. I think right down to having a bandana around his neck. Uh, it doesn't have the, like, mouth on it, but it's just fucking me up a little bit. I never really thought about this when I was younger. Uh, yeah. He, I got hit, so he's just calling me a scrub. No, I'm actually... I like to usually not skip tutorials, uh, but these games I'll make an exception because they're just so obnoxious. It's like the worst part of these games. Okay, I've been... I'm just sucking at that, though. I've just been doing it barely too late both times. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, no! Some of these voice lines are literally Bowser Jr. voice lines, too. I feel like. Like, that's when you lose... A lot of these are in Double Dash, I think. Look at Baby Luigi and Baby Peach just playing in the corner. These games have so much fucking personality. These are great games. Blech. Oh my god, literally every sound effect is nostalgic. Like, the voice clips, this sound effect. It had, like, a little bit of the DS, like, rainbow effect, too. That we all love so much. Was this the first game to have Baby Mario and Baby Luigi? No, right? Like, they were in the cart. They were in Double Dash and shit before this. I think, was Double Dash their first appearance? I should have looked this up before the stream. Uh. Oh, shit. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> oh god. Right. It does that every time you uh, go back or forth in time. Okay, whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna fuck around with this so much. Oh shit, right. EGAD is in this game. That's why this is the best game ever made. Because they had the balls. They had what no other Nintendo game had the balls to do. Which is bring EGAD back. Mario Sunshine like hinted at him. And I guess Luigi's Mansion 3, but, uh... I don't know if he's ever shown up anywhere else. The Cobalt Star! God, it gotta be one of the most... Maybe the most forgettable Star MacGuffin in any Mario game. The Cobalt Star. <laughs> like, the Bean Star is funny, because it's a fucking bean. And then there's, like, the Miracle Cure that looks like Godhead in Bowser's Inside Story. Who remembers the Cobalt Star? This, these stills are kind of crusty, honestly. Like, they don't look great. It looks like the black outlines of, like, Mario and Luigi weren't, like, properly, like, edited out sometimes. Her able ward, Toadsworth, is beside himself with worry. Yeah, I mentioned the, did I not mention the sunshine thing? Yeah, he gets very subtly alluded to, and I think that was just something to tie Mario Sunshine and Luigi's Mansion together. Because they're both Mario games that have uh, a Mario brother with a mechanical backpack assisting them. Yabba yabba. Okay, those are totally Luigi's Mansion sound voice clips. What, does anybody know? 
Uh, hold on. Yeah, he's also in Superstar Saga, I guess. But I don't think- does he show up in Bowser's Inside Story? Maybe as like- in like a little reference or something. Right, right, right. Yoshi's Island is, of course, the first one that had Baby Mario and Baby Luigi Doi. But Baby Peach was introduced in this game. Hmm. It's interesting. I'm wondering- I'm just thinking about, like, the voice lines. There's no way the voice lines that are in Double Dash are- and GameCube was before- a little bit before DS, right? So... There was no way... Okay. Sorry. I'm just, like, trying to figure out the chronology without just, like, fucking looking it up. I was like, there's no way they would make voice lines for this game and then reuse them in Double Dash. That's not how that would work. I like Toadsworth in these games, too. He's- this is the only time he's afforded any actual character. Refresh- <laughs> a refresh room. <laughs> Bringing back Lakitu as the camera from Mario 64, I kind of completely forgot they did this. Huh, and he's why you have the map, okay. That's a fun reference. I like that. I don't think I, like, got that when I was younger. Even though I had played Mario 64 DS. The map's a lot more important in this game because you, like, separate the different Mario Brothers and, like, the, the babies and the adults. You yeet the babies in this game. This game also has Toad Bert. It's fucking based. What? I also remember this very specific map screen, because you do- you have to navigate this place a lot of times, because this is the hub world. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> that usually works. Yeah, here's the classic jump test. Looking good, Mario. You are hot. I want to talk to Luigi and hear his Luigi sounds. Yeah. I love hearing on command Luigi noises. Alright, oh, these are a full heal, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. The save book, Mr. Potter! Bash your brains into this book! And you'll never die! So, I, I was thinking about getting out the touchpad, the, uh, my, my, my drawing tablet for this game. But, am I correct in recalling that there are literally no uses of the touchpad? Or of the touchscreen in this game? Maybe, like, one or two. Like, I- Bowser's Inside Story had the gimmicks. But this one, I don't think, has any, right? There's a single one. Oh, I remember what it is! Oh my god! Yes! The map! There's like a little- there's like a thing where it's like smudged and you- I remember that! That's so stupid! Okay, and I don't need to get out the, the drawing pad for that. But like, Bowser's Inside Story's got that fucking carrot part that I'm totally gonna need the uh, drawing pad for. Look at that drawing of Peach. Why is it like sus? <laughs> this looks like she's giving you a very like sex expression. A very sex expression. I'm gonna stick by what I said. It's like right before the end of the game, too. I remember that. I remember thinking, what the fuck? Oh. I'm glad to see that other people also fucking hate the carrot thing. Apparently that made they made it easier in the remake, which honestly good. But I also definitely have that, like... Like I wanted the schadenfreude Freud of, of fucking... Hearing that other people suffered on that. So hearing they made it easier, I'm like, No! Don't nerf, nerf Melania's waterfall dance! <coughs> Did that toad just say, can I use your cane when you're fucking dead? Speak, man! I think it's more like, SPEAK, MAN! He's worried himself into a state of shroom shock. 
The fucking carrot part, the worst part about it was that I think you had to watch the, like, a huge amount of dialogue every time you tried it, and you had to, like, do the tutorial and shit. Like, every time you wanted to attempt it. Oh, right, this is a time portal. That's what they, they always look like that. <laughs> I don't want to spoil too much, but I remember there being some kind of, like, Egad invents a machine that runs on the tears of children, or something like that. I, I mean, nobody, like, spoil it. I guess I kind of spoiled it. But there's, there's some sort of machine that has, like, a pipe that just flows like Princess Peach's tears. It's really fucked up. Oh, shit. It's the Futurama time capsule. Oh fuck, it's shroobs. Oh, I remember! There's like a tutorial shroob. I'm surprised how much I remember that music. Just because I heard it a million times. Look at him flicking his bean! <laughs> Oh, the, the music in this game is awesome, too. Is it Yoko Shimomura? Junior Shrewboid. Does he spin? Yeah. I remember this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, the attacks... I'm really having a difficult time attacking or responding to the attacks in time. Shut the fuck up, Toadsworth. Why do they tutorialize it once for Baby Mario and once for Adult Mario? That is fucked. Hiya, puppy. Fuck. Good thing he only does one damage, still tutorial fight. Oh god, fuck that up bad. Okay, I'm just barely hitting him. Bye, bitch. God, yeah! This music, too. And it's uh, it always bothered me in this game, and in, in this series in general, whenever Mario and Luigi would be separated for a fight, because then they have that, like, unequal uh, experience points and be at, like, staggered levels. And they do it right at the beginning of this game. Uh, guys, is there... So, there was the mush badge in the first game. Is there any sort of, like, meme build in this game? I don't think there is, right? There's nothing nearly that broken. Should I just, like... I mean, people are gonna ask me to put it in stash. Like, that's just a guarantee. Stash and, like, pow are, like, the chat options. But... What's, uh... There's, yeah, there's no, no, like, meme builds. Stash is, like, luck in this game. I'm gonna... You know, I kind of like having Mario be a bruiser and then Luigi having, like, funny stuff. One. Great. So, uh, maybe we'll give Luigi the most fucking glorious stash of all time and Mario can be the big bruiser. There's not too much, like, build variation. No sign of the princess. No, that awful monster. Yeah, like I said, it's it's. This, oh, he's got a DS Um, it's just like how he had the uh, Game Boy Horror. They always do that shit. That is such a Nintendo move. Like I, I feel like no other company does this nearly this much. At least, Nintendo loves to put whatever, like Pokemon this. Uh, fucking, what's... Like, Paper Mario has this sort of shit. They're just constantly referencing their own hardware. Luigi's Mansion, of course. Time Radar, you just made that up. Ow, ow, ow. Ah! Right, the time hole. This is, like, the first world that we go to. It's like... I think most of the game takes place in the place in the past, and then you come back here to, like, I forget exactly. No, I think it's actually split down the middle, because there's stuff that's happening now with, like, the alien invasion. 
I'm sure if you look at the timeline of this game, there's stuff that's like fucked up about the time travel, because there always is. But I always maintain that like, I just don't care about time travel rules and like, oh, Paradox, because like, until we actually get time travel in real life, like just whatever, it's like, it's like saying, oh, that's not how magic works. It's like, okay, well, we don't have time travel, so nobody knows how it would work. Maybe it would be like it is in Looper, you know, where it appears to have conflicting rules, but maybe it's just, I don't know, it's just too insane for us to comprehend. Oh, yeah. I always simp for Looper. It's not even, like, my favorite film or anything. It's just a good movie, and I feel like it gets shit on a lot. It literally was, it was shorter. It was literally like a, a stubby little short shitty jump. Luigi's usually, uh, you know, in Mario 2, he was the better jumper. Okay. This fucking thing, man. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm gonna save a lot, just because I'm kind of worried about, like, emulator troubles. We had that in Superstar Saga. I think that's just a Bizhawk thing, though. Hopefully, it doesn't happen in this game because it's on a different like console and shit. But I, uh, I noticed that like when Vinny played, I, I've I've heard Vinny say in the past that he uses Bizhawk for a lot of consoles because it's fucking based. By the way, would recommend. I, uh, oh my god, yes! I love this version of this of his theme. I. Uh, he had a similar issue where the game, like, reset, and he lost a bunch of progress at one point. I didn't even lose that much progress. This fucking song, I remember there was an online version of the composer in Mario Paint that I found at one point, and I made this song, this exact, like, composition in the, like, online Mario Paint. I wonder if I have that saved anywhere, because it was one of those things where you could, like, save it as, like, a custom file format. One day I'll play Mario Paint, maybe I'll try to recreate it. <laughs> it's not like, it wasn't like amazing or anything, it's just that I remember this specific song because of that. TIME HALL! And I always liked Egad's theme, and then I played this game and I was like, yo! Oh, he's gonna fall in. I think his face like flattens on it, right? And then you like glow and get sucked into it. Oh yeah! <laughs> Dollars to donuts. I think this might have been the first time I heard that phrase. And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah. I remember the exact, like, yeah. I guess the hole glows. But I remember that animation, the exact animation of him getting like, sucked in. Because you have to do that a lot in this game, too. Someone was like, Toadsworth, you fuck! I remember being, being so pissed at Toadsworth. I was like, you fucking moron. Ooh. Ooh, is that supposed to look like that? Ooh, I don't think the lower screen is supposed to have those, like, lines in it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Everything else looked fun. I think that was, uh, I think that was emulator jank. <laughs> he landed on him. It's like the fucking movie cliche where, like, the guy, it's like, oh, everybody gets thrown back, this fucking guy. Everybody gets thrown back by the explosion, and, uh, the guy, like, lands on the girl, and he's got his hands on her boobs, except it's Luigi. This guy's name was, like, some fucking dumb luggage pun. It's like Paxworth, Stuffsworth, or something. Fuck. I'm not looking at chat. I don't know why I'm not looking at chat, because he's about to say his name. I forget, though. This is like the Starlo of this game. This guy's kind of annoying, honestly. A, a, a pretty fucking low-tier Mario RPG companion. Stuffwell. What was my guess? I was pretty close, right? It was like stuff worth. Egad invented me. I'm what is called a suitcase. 
The professor, I, I maybe he talks like uh, Flood because he's an EGAD thing. The professor sent me back in time. I'm not gonna actually read out the lines in this game. <laughs> he's uh, fully functional. He's got a penis. I could provide stimulation. Okay. Oh, smile. He's a, he's a cute smile. He usually is frowning when he talks, which is maybe why I think of him as kind of a humorless dick. God, they always do this shit. Hey, chat, would any of you like to load him with all manner of doodads and widgets? <laughs> load. He's inside himself. Yeah, he is. The fuck? Never really thought about that. But he is. God, those like arrows whenever they want to like shift your attention. That happened a ton in Bowser's Inside Story. Because they always had you swapping the different like screens. Bowser's Inside Story was like the ultimate culmination of this game concept. And I know that sounds like dumb, but honestly that game is fantastic. Okay. Eagerly. This feels like too much explanation, someone says. You've hit the nail on the head. That's... Most people see that as the main problem with these games. Is that they just explain too hard. <laughs> and they tutorialize too hard. Back to adventure. I think he says that a lot, right? That's like his catchphrase. Oh, bye. Right. It becomes like tiny. Oh, it's just gone. Never mind. But I think... It can, like, open it back up again, or something, maybe? Well, we're stuck. It's made for babies? Yeah, maybe. I remember all of these games being quite challenging when I was younger. Like, the late game bosses get fucking stupid in this series. The final boss of this game, like, there's, like, a final boss, and then there's, like, a ultimate, like, you know, you went back home and Syndrome's there, and he's got the baby Jack-Jack, and he's gonna kill him, or whatever, he's gonna take him. There's, like, a final encounter, you know? And that shit fucking was insanely difficult. For me, as a kid. Uh, Superstar Saga, I kinda trounced, because I was using the mush badge. Uh, when I played it on stream, I mean. But I feel like I earned that after having played it legit when I was younger and suffering. There was uh, the fucking... I guess I won't, like, spoil too hard what it is, but in Bowser's Inside Story, there's a boss in Bowser's brain that is so fucking obnoxious. It's so... It's, those of you who have played the game know what I'm talking about. Fuck that shit. Oh, god damn you. This one even has little, like, pictures. It's because they had, like, two screens to work with, and they were like, what do we do with the top screen during this, you know? I think this game, it doesn't have the touchscreen gimmicks, but it's very gimmicky in terms of the dual screen, weirdly enough. Uh, no, we're not going to be able to make that. We can't spin yet, so I guess we just move on. Wait, can we? We can't. Oh my god, we can. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that boss fucking sucks dick. I hated that boss. It's like if they could just let you see the health that the bosses have to... Yeah, 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 what it is, motherfucker. They don't, uh... They don't give you the option to skip some of these. I think it's the biggest issue. Yeah, yeah, what it is, motherfucker. Festooned! Oh my god, that's an amazing word. I've literally never heard that word anywhere else but this game. Festooned. Is that real? Adorn a place with ribbons, garlands, or other decorations. Festooned, guys. Oh my god. 
What an amazing word. I've literally never heard it anywhere else. Except fucking partners in time. Word nostalgia. That was so sudden and loud. Okay. Cool baby tutorial. This one does feel like someone said this game in particular is bad with the tutorials. Kind of feels that way, doesn't it? And it's just like you're stopped like every two seconds in the beginning. That's a, that's all these games. The bitch. Oh. <laughs> Good sprite art in this game, too. It's a good-looking DS game. The little... the one thing is, like, the... the little cutscenes that are just still images of, like, concept art. Oh, fuck! Sorry to freak anyone out that has that alarm tone. <laughs> dank purple! They keep saying dank. Is he gonna, like, spray Luigi with... water? I love their little ships, too, because we learn later that those are just their heads poking out. Like, the purple, like, shroom cap that looks like some sort of embellishment that, like, resemble their bodies, you know? Nope, that's just their heads poking out. It's so funny. This is like a little baby version of a shroob. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> Bulboid. Okay. That's like a- I bet that's like an actual 3D object, too, when the- when it does that screen transition. Excellent work, Mario! Hey, stuff well. How about you stuff it? So, like, let's look at this screen. Hold on. Look at him sitting in the background just smiling away. That looks... No, I don't really like it. Like, I, I, you know, it looks better, but at the same time, it's just kind of distracting, I guess. I don't think I like this, frankly. Hey, yeah, look at them dancing. They're dancing. Ooh, nice. It, the text bubble came out of his, like, dick. It, the little, like, pointy thing coming out of the text bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, Mario's twice as powerful as Luigi. No! Stuff it! Bruh. Huh, the timing is a little bit different between the two? Is that real? What? I didn't even really realize that was a thing. Does Luigi actually have floatier jumps? Is that a thing in the other games? <laughs> Fuck. When will the tutorials end? Let's go. Nice. Oh my god, they're they're toast. They both have four HP, so bye, bitch. Oh. What? Okay. He's just talking about the speed stat. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what, what, he, what he's going on about, about they're slightly different. Stash. Oh my god, Luigi's natively got a better stash stat. Which is true, because his mustache is cooler. Good. Luigi's mustache will be glorious by the end of the game. It's gonna be like those guys that like style them to look like an octopus. You know? They just go, like, absolutely nuts with their mustaches. And he's gonna be critting it out all the time. Yeah, I thought speed was turn order. Is it really worth it to fight these guys? Probably is. Like, it's gonna start out a little slow. That's, uh, these games are like that. Phew! I love that, like, they, 
all the little animations. It's like every game has a different version of like the, you know, you won a battle. And I love this one where Luigi's just like, oh, thank God. I live another minute. Speed is how I cheesed the final fight in uh, Superstar Saga a little bit. Oh shit. <laughs> that just thing they just got fucked, it just fell off. <laughs> Expendable. Damage. For formulant? Fromulant? Wait, did he just say fromulant? The word that I thought was a real word that is not actually a real word. Another tutorial. Yeah, this tutorial is pretty frickin' aggressive. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just slap it right on there. Come on. Slap it on him. Slap it on him. No, fuck you. Wonderous. He's so, like, matronly. If it's not too much trouble, would you press B for me, darling? Okay. Yeah, man. Close me. Which sounds gross when he's saying it about himself. All right, time to pull me open. All right, time to shut me. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, I don't like it. Get a lucky crit. I don't think you can get a crit when you're dropping in like that, actually. So I think, I remember what happens up at, like, the snowy village up there, too. So I've been playing a little bit of Elden Ring. Oh, who am I kidding? I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring off-stream. And started new, two new characters. And one of them I got almost all the way to the end. I've tr I'm trying to do him, like, lower level. I'm just trying to, like, challenge myself a little bit more. So the first one is at level 99, and I beat, like, Horolu and everything. I guess that's not really a spoiler. Fuck. Uh, and then the other one is, I'm, I have him at, like, level 24, and I'm trying to beat the Fire Giant right now. That's as far as I've got. And that shit is goddamn hard. Uh when you're that low level because basically any move insta-kills you. Like, I don't think I'm gonna go for Melania with this shit, but I kinda wanna see, like, how far I can get while really low-leveled, you know? And it is... it is a trial and a tribulation or two. I tell you what. I'm, I just have the big club, too. I got the big, the large monkey club. I'm just bonking motherfuckers everywhere, left and right. Okay. Uh, let's just see what we got here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for HP, I think. Okay, respectable. Have you seen the fucked up concept art for Shroob Life Cycles? I don't think I have, no. Is it like the fucked up concept art for, uh, Metal Slug? It's got, like, body horror? Uh, it's the Large Club. Specifically. But yeah, the vigor thing is no meme in that game. That's that's legit. Uh, Fire Giant's big goddamn plate that he swings around. Uh, just about all of his moves insta kill me. But I think it I think it will be doable. I think I can do it. But I don't know about like Malaketh and stuff like that. I feel like after a game's been out for like two or three months, it's fine to just say the boss names if nothing else. It's not really spoiling much. But I saw that in Dunkey's video, he cheesed the fire giant. He, like, got it to fall off a cliff and, like, it did all of its health in one hit. But it, it seemed like maybe it was a second phase exclusive thing and I couldn't even get it to work. I tried to do it just for funsies. Uh, because at some point in the future, there will be a FromSoft jank video that is mostly centered around Bloodborne, but other games will be included too. And there will be a segment on Elden Ring. And, uh... Let's level bigger. Fuck it. Okay. I, I kind of wanted a clip for that, but I couldn't get it to work. 
They patched it? Mmm. Uh... So what even was it that happened, though, previously? Was it just he took... He just took fall damage? Like, falling down any amount? Because it seemed like he fell down like a tiny ledge in the donkey video. I remember this part. I think I remember dying to whatever you fight here, which I'm probably going to feel retroactively really embarrassed about that fact. Because I remember watching this cutscene a few times. Okay. Yeah, they really seem to shy away from, like, cheese kills with bosses in uh, in Elden Ring, which was really disappointing to me, honestly. Like, because cheese kills are just one of those things where it's like, if you wanna, if you wanna be sweaty, you can be sweaty. And if you want to cheese him and have some fun, then you can cheese him and have some fun. And, like, a lot of the time, the cheese methods were so obnoxious and difficult that it was almost harder than just killing them, you know? But, uh... It was just fun to goof around with. I don't know, it was funny. There were some fights where it definitely felt like they wanted you to do it, too. But then in Elden Ring, they, they almost completely patched that up. <clears throat> okay. Will you try 100% what with this game? 100%ing this game? I don't even know what that entails. A and probably not, if I had to guess. Okay. <laughs> One thing is, uh, fighting post-patch Radon, he is quite a bit easier now. But not, actually not, maybe not that much easier. It's kind of hard to tell with FromSoft games, the easiness or difficulty of bosses, of course. Uh, it's Santa. I think this is like Toad Santa, right? No. Oh! Yeah. Ho, ho! They kind of reverted the nerfs, but not entirely. Huh. Okay. Well, maybe I'm just a gamer god, because Radon was pretty easy, uh, even at, like, level 24 or whatever. I did use the, like, summons. But I feel like most people probably do with Radon. That's, like, an exception. And I did first try Malaketh on my, uh on my level 99 save file. That was my one, that was my one, like, Lady Maria Lawrence moment. Or, uh, Ludwig, rather. I always get Lawrence and Ludwig confused. All right, this is the first, like, semi-real fight in the game. DS, they've got alien DSs. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> Okay. When he goes ding, that's Mario. When they don't, that's Luigi. I don't remember what this countdown is for, but it's very intimidating. This might be a uh, forced death. Which is why I remember this being fearsome. Okay. Is that just the insta-kill? Oh, I can't jump. Yep. <laughs> oh no! I see the light! <laughs> Bye. I wonder if that's possible to win. Probably not. Because they don't like give you enough tools before that. To just get like enough damage. Oh right, this thing. This was in Superstar Saga. Holly Jolly Village, fuck you. <laughs> Subtle! Baby Peach just existing. Not a single goddamn thought in her entire brain. Right, isn't it Baby Luigi's tears that go into, like, the machine later? He's the one that cries a lot. Of course he does. 
that I remember these crying sounds getting very annoying over the course of the game. Goo goo. Fuck you. <laughs> He's pushing him like a like Isaac pushing an explosive barrel. Okay, it's these guys. This is very similar to the uh, intro to Superstar Saga as well. We're still this whole stream's gonna be tutorial. That's the whole stream. <laughs> Their faces, like the sprites of the little babies, they look very different from their appearance in, like, the 3D games. Their noses are a lot smaller, I feel like. They look a little weird. But not weird, per se. Just different. Oh, God, why did I talk to this guy? <laughs> Maybe he'll have an item. Why, this area is festooned with blocks. No, I didn't know. Not too shabby a tutorial. Wrong. Very shabby a tutorial. Hey, we got some uh, good shit there, actually. Is there, like, a secret block? Does this game even have, like, Mario RPG secret blocks? I think it has beans later on, right? That's, uh... It's Fawful's one, ex one appearance in this game. Is as the Bean Man. Okay, I like the little, uh, little pictures for your, like, uh, photo book, too, your scrapbook, at the top. And they, and, and it's not just a picture of the area, they've also got the characters emoting, doing something in that area. Great, cute attention to detail in these games. Your babies. You're going to die. It's Kaelid, there are no hoes here. I like his little smiley face control panel. But what are the real eyes on that control panel? Like, does it have nostrils? Or does it have tiny, tiny eyes? <laughs> wow, get fucked. Oh, I guess 100%ing this game would be the beans, right? Surely. You're a Koopa's Koopa. I never really understood the phrase, a man's man. Like, you're gay? <laughs> I don't know. I don't if there's anything wrong with that, I'm just wondering. I don't understand. Sky nerd. Like a men, um, a man among men. You know? Like, even in a set of men. In a lineup, a man lineup, if you pointed to this one man, you'd be like, Now there is a man that stands out as an example of manliness, even among purely men. That's what it means? Among us? Oh man. Yeah, I remember that being a really annoying sound. She cries a lot in this game. Remember Majora's Mask, where the fucking- I'm sure some of you just, like, out loud went, Oh my god! The baby Goron that cries inside, like, the Goron village area? Fuck that, that was so annoying. And it was like you had to do that whole area while the baby was crying. Ugh. <laughs> that was the worst part of Majora's Mask. Okay. Tally who? Look, the ship, the Koopa Cruiser, is like a baby version of the Koopa Cruiser. It's also, you know, no attention has been taken to, uh, to make sure it's the right size. Like, we were walking around several rooms in there, and now it's, like, not even the size of one room. Google 
says a man's man is a man who is more popular and at ease with other men than with women. Do I gotta say it out loud? Do I gotta say what everyone here is thinking out loud? That means you're gay. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, of course. Mostly. Right. Why are we- oh, because the other ones are, like, dead. We gotta finish off the ones that, uh, Mario and Luigi failed to kill. What if, like, the moment they touched their future selves, just, like, everything- You know, and it, the, the universe just collapses. Okay. Uh... Did he say anything of importance? I kind of didn't read what he said. Young Masters, bros items! Right, they're items in this game and in Bowser's Inside Story. Okay. This is what replaced bros moves. I, I've seen a lot of the time people saying like, oh, bros moves, I'm so sad that they, uh, I'm so sad they never brought them back, but like, did they ever really leave us? You know, I think, like, these are a perfectly fine replacement. The ones in Bowser's Inside Story are fucking nuts, too. Okay. Oh my god, that sound. So nostalgic. And I think, if I recall correctly... No. I thought it was maybe one of the- maybe that's Red Shells. Uh... Where, like, once you kill- once you kill one enemy, then, uh, it, like, goes over to the next one, you know? These attacks are so satisfying. Oh, what? I fucked it up. Oh, wow, you're just stocking us up. Okay. Easy. I have quite a few! So many shells stuffed up my keister! In a way, the slower ones are the harder ones to hit. Kinda gets easier as it goes on, maybe I'm wrong. So, yeah, sorry that there's just, like, an ugly, like, tear down the middle of the screen and that the aspect ratio is dog shit. I'm sorry. I might look into getting an overlay for next stream, but don't get your hopes up. There is just, like, an ugly- it looks like the worst V-Sync I've ever seen in my life. Okay, metal effect stack on all... Use use all four to boost bros attacks, is that what I'm getting from this? Might try that out. I My policy with replaying RPGs is if I've played it legit once, I'll totally use cheese ta tactics the second time. Um, that was rather gross. You nearly zooped the universe out of existence. Okay. <laughs> they are a very, like... I don't think the shrubs are very in-depth. I think they do have a motivation for coming here besides just their evil. But I think for the first part of the game, they're all just like, Oh, they're just creepy and evil. They just love being creepy and evil and evil and creepy. I remember this, like, village area, too. Toad Town. And you go here in this game and Bowser's Inside Story, and it looks different in Bowser's Inside Story, I think. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's dark! The way it, like, panned up... ...to, like, look away... Damn! Yeah, this game's darker than the other ones. Ah! All right, we're at one hour in. This is exactly, I knew this was how it was gonna go. This is always how it goes with Mario RPGs. The first stream is like mostly cutscene and tutorial. Gimme a gimmick! He doesn't have a DS, he's just got like a shitty 80s phone. Uh-oh, 
Toadsworth's about to die. <laughs> it just shat out a ball. <laughs> that was actually funny. It's like, you know, it's of course not that dark, but for a Mario game, you're pretty dark as they go. I mean, there is that part where you go to hell in Super Paper Mario. That part was pretty intense. Where they, like, talk about death. Oh, hell yeah. I like, I like the shrooms. They're cool. But I don't know, that's just my opinion from when I was, like, 15. It's a stereotype, and it's offensive. You've gone a bit daffy. Wow, they're so stupid. Mario does get rejected from both heaven and hell. He's out of this world. He doesn't really get rejected. He kind of like claws his way out of hell. This is the hot lady. One of those just looks like balls. One of those characters just looks like balls. Who's this hag? <gasps> I love that they just have a peach equivalent. <laughs> eh? There's a certain artistry to... This game has kind of like Undertale, actually. Uh, which I know Undertale is, you know, aping games like this, but... Uh, when they read out the text, every character has a different sound associated with it, and the aliens have a very specific one. But it's like Bowser Jr. is like, and the Koopas are like, you know? It's subtle, but it, it does... It actually goes a long way. Yeah, like Banjo-Kazooie. It's a little less extreme than Banjo-Kazooie, though. Banjo-Kazooie's like... It was kind of obnoxious in Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> He's even got a baby version of Bowser's Castle, what the fuck? <laughs> like, how did he get his royalty? Like, what family was he born into to be instantly, like, you know? Why was he instantly in power when he was younger? How did that even happen? Wow. My keen detection skills. Okay, this is the first, like, semi-real area. It's true, they rebuild the castle every year, because Mario comes in and fucking ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba, and just destroys everything. Oh, no. Huh, no. They took a dip in the lava. Oops. Guess that's... Guess Mar and Mario and Luigi start, like, fading out of existence, like Back to the Future. That was... Oh my god, I know I always rant about this, but Back to the fucking Future. That, like... Anybody who has the gall to complain about, like, Looper's time travel, point to Back to the Future and tell me that that shit makes any more sense. That shit was nonsense. Your head will disappear in a photograph. Instead of just the photograph never having been taken. What? <laughs> like, your head disappears in the photograph. What? Bam. That... That shit is weird. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it on the wrong measure. Measure. Come on, gang, let's get some treasure. Oh, thank you for those subs. You know... Oh, fuck, wait. It 
it's like, uh, eh. I know I keep fucking with this. It's very clear that this is not lined up properly, too. Uh, hold on, no, it's like make the top screen a little bigger. Folks, don't forget to use those uh, Lark Souls emotes. God, the bottom screen really isn't that much bigger than the top screen, is it? But I bet, like, the gap size is all fucked up now. Eh. I'm sorry, this is not interesting. I'm. Uh, we're just gonna stick with this. It just looks kinda ugly, there's just like that split in the middle. That hype train is going... Actually, the hype train is not going, for whatever reason. I don't know why. I don't know what causes a hype train. I think it's like many people have to give subs, rather than a bunch of subs have to get gifted. Ow. I just danged my heel on this fucking thing. I'm glad to see those. I was just about to say, let's get some use out of those uh, Lark Souls protagonist emotes. And I see people uh, blasting them. Good. Those are good emotes. Okay. These are pathetic enemies. Alright. Ooh, yeah. Honestly, like, could you think of a lamer enemy? Like, literally anything but just Goombas at the beginning. Also, do we have... We can use the green shells, even though we got them as kids. I guess our inventory is just, like, mixed. Even though we were only together for, like, a second. Okay. Oh. The DS had equal size screens, and the 3DS had a larger top screen. But I googled a picture of the Nintendo DS. Oh my god, this is blowing my mind. Nintendo DS. I thought I googled a picture, and I saw that the screens were different sizes. No. No, it's just that the bottom screen has, like, a bigger rim around it. That, like, made me think that it was bigger. Okay, huh. So really, they don't need to be different sizes at all. They just need they just need to be a gap. They just need to be smaller and have a gap. Huh. Okay. I didn't even really realize that. Weird. Okay. Well, maybe I'll set that up for next stream. I don't know. I, st I, I know I've been umming and awing about this literally the entire time, but it just feels like there's no perfect solution. Done. There was a crit. But it wasn't even on the guy that has extra stash points. Speaking of which, can we get a level up here soon? I wish to imbue Luigi with more stash power. <laughs> okay. Uh... I remember this game had a lot of this. A lot of, like, you throw Baby Mario and Baby Luigi up into, like, the rafters and they have to go do this bullshit, you know? There's a bean that I don't think I can get. Oh. Uh... <sighs> Let's go do this. Crit. Fall joke. Yes, that was a fall joke. No, I want to get the, uh... There was a block down here. Two. And I want to murder. Oh. Ooh. New guys. This was the one Goomba in the room that had a boo in its ass. Okay, the eye that it uncovers is which bro it will attack. Pretty simple shit. A 
Like, man, if only they could learn to stop being fucking idiots and giving away a tell that is 100% consistent. It's like a baseball, where the umpire or the, uh, is it the, no, it's not the umpire that does the signals. Who does, who gives the signals? Like, the, the manager gives signals to, like, the pitcher in baseball? And then people, like, read the signals? I like Luigi's battle stance. He's ready for anything. He looks like a grappler. He's looking like Zangief. He's ready to grab someone and give a spinning pile driver. The catcher, like, oh, Lamau, oh, he doesn't know. Hey, hey. You know baseball. That's more embarrassing. Knowing about baseball, more embarrassing than not knowing about baseball. Um... Oh no, I didn't know Lark was here. He's been to a baseball game recently. Fuck. I mean, I was in Little League, because I was a white kid. <laughs> I want a mod for this game where that just goes <laughs> and just splats him. Oh my god, they're about to goddamn die. I forgot about that voice line, that's so funny. <laughs> Just Mario saying, BABIES! <laughs> Mario. Oh, I thought that was Mario's ass saying the word Mario. Ma okay. They found a way of working, uh, stuff well into some of the, uh, cutscenes, at least. I stand by- somebody said that was like a bad take, that he's one of the lesser Mario companions. I stand by my stance. I mean, Starlo was better, Tippy was better, uh, fucking Goombella and Goombario, they were better. Alright, so I think now we can pick the babies up, right? No? Can we swap to them? No? Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna leave them. Oh, I see. <laughs> Starlo is a bitch. <laughs> Starlo is kind of a bitch. <laughs> Starlo's a fun bitch. Yeah, exactly. Chippy is better than Starlo. Now that's a good reference. Funny. I get it. I get it. Okay. She gives no respect to Luigi. Uh, nobody does. Literally nobody does. Babies. They were merciful. They didn't play the baby crying sounds here. That's true. Yippee! That is just a Mario 64 sound effect. Luigi, you're a fucking failure. He can't even parent himself. <laughs> Spin! Well. When's Vinny gonna play this game, huh? He played Superstar Saga. I think he actually said he might skip this one and go to Bowser's Inside Story, which is a fucking shame. A huge shame, if true. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the gameplay was a little more complicated in this one, so they stuffed it full of tutorials. 
Huh? Wait, what did he say to do? I forgot what he said to do. What did he say to do? Fuck. Is he, are we like trying to switch to the babies? I'm pressing all the buttons. Fuck, I forgot what he said. I was just like, it's a boring tutorial. Yeah, that's what I pressed those. What? I did that, though. Why didn't it work before? Okay. Was it just like, talk to you? Fuck. The tykes. Okay, there we go. And we can yeet them. <laughs> Alright, now. This is how most of the game is. The four minion switch. Minions! Alright. Yeah. Prince Bowser is so rad. <laughs> Good flavor text. And that makes a pipe appear. Beautiful. Fun. Fun and cute. We are still tutorializing, though. This is not even a semi-real area, as I said it was. Fuck. Eh. Okay. Uh, does the music change when you swap characters? I don't think it does. Uh, hold on, let's check. Yeah, no. But yeah, in, uh... Bowser's Inside Story, whenever you went inside, it would change. It'd be like... It would be like different instruments, you know? Oh, the... right, the Mario Bros themselves, the old ones, can jump a little higher. Okay, now we're gonna... Go in here... Goo goo it up. A little bit of Elmer's goo. Koopa Training Gymnasium. <laughs> okay. Thought for a second maybe there were like holes in the walls elsewhere in there too, but no. L. Big L for you, king. Alright. Who is the king right now? I don't think that that is confirmed ever in any Mario game. Who was, like, the royalty that preceded Bowser. I don't think that's ever stated by anyone ever. I could be wrong. Might be something I'm missing, I don't know. I feel like they also give you more money and more items in this game. Because there are double the amount of bros to keep track of. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't wait till this is over. This game, I mean, no. The tutorial. Or the, like, the tutorial-y part. <laughs> they kind of tutorialize stuff throughout the game, as many games do, but there's, like, always a part at the beginning that's, like, super tutorial-heavy. I'll bother you up! Oh. By summoning... Wow. A Goomba. There's no way we can handle this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. You, like, uh... You get, like, a double thing going on. Yeah. It's cool. Cool addition. Just let me do it. Fuck you. The speed runs of these games must be so obnoxious. I know they're popular TAS games because they have, uh... Superstar Saga has crazy RNG manipulation tricks. Okay. <sighs> Press the baby button when the shell hits the enemy. What? Right, because he, like, stands on the shell. I remember now. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I'm, I would be doing it with perfect timing if you wouldn't interrupt me. Fuck you! Yeah. Mm. 
Okay, I fucked it up. <laughs> but that's fun. That's a little more. It's a little more complicated. Makes it less trivial. Yeah, yeah. What it is. Okay, so B Y A Y B Y A Y. Oh. <laughs> Yak. I think Kamek just puked. Oh, he's just making more for more tutorial. Okay. If I had, like, not killed that Goomba... If I had, like, just... Oh, man. Could I have, like, ended this encounter faster? Just here chilling with my boo. Fun. Just a little bit of extra damage. And rack it up. Boom. Get fucked. Our numbers are terrible right now, though. Which kind of begs the question... What happens between the events of all these games where, like... They lose all their power-ups? They have a little Metroid moment. Waha! Yeah, the items are the new bros' attacks. Which I think they're pretty cool. Like, they get... You know, they start out with basic stuff, and then I think they get, like, crazy towards the end of the game. That might just be in Bowser's Inside Story, but I think it's like that in this game, too. All right, pretty good. Nice, we're synced up. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, fuck. I hit B to cancel it, but it's L to cancel it. Oops, whatever, HP is fine too. I'm gonna put on my wrist brace. Ooh. I feel like that sound effect gets used a lot in these games, right? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right. I wonder if these games, like if this and Superstar Saga run on like the same engine. I just feel like they wouldn't because of, nice, the fact that they run on like a different engine, you know? Oh, but it's only the babies now. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot that's how that worked. Well. Let's, uh, let's try to whoop him, shall we? Two babies versus a cannon. Nice. Do the babies even have a stash stat? Or is it like, do they have like the poop stat? Bye, bitch. Gatling guy. That's such a... I've talked about this a lot before. When I was younger, I set out to draw every Mario character, including the ones from these games and, like, Paper Mario and shit, and that's... When I discovered Paper Mario is basically when I gave up. But there are so many guy variations. There's... Like, there's so many different versions of Shy Guys, where just their last name is Guy, and then they have, like, whatever you know, afro guy, or long, like, stretch guy, or whatever. There's so many. There's fucking general guy in, uh, Paper Mario. Oh, come on. The babies do, like, no damage. Which is mildly upsetting. Oh my god. I don't think I can, uh, green shell these guys, though, because they're flying, right? Okay, finally one of them's dead. <laughs> Whatever, they're not a big threat. They probably do one damage to me if they hit me too. But we'll have to remember that. Don't try to just yeet the babies onto an enemy unless you want them to uh, solo fight them. Baby. Okay. Thank God. Okay. Uh... Fuck. <laughs> I kinda thought we'd just like sneak around that guy. Whatever. We're all the lads now. I've said it about Paper Mario, and I appreciate it about this game too. I like that the numbers are low. Like, 
Oh shit, I did it wrong. Like, I kind of appreciate it for the sake of my baby brain. That the numbers are low, and it's not like thousands of numbers or whatever. You know? Like those Dragon Ball games where they're like, every damage is in millions of damage or whatever. Fucking Ta Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Oh. My... Uh, depth perception failed me there. Fuck. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but at the beginning of most RPGs, you're not doing two damage to enemies. Like, I can't think of another RPG that's like that. Maybe that's just my lack of experience showing. I, I pressed the button. What? I pressed X. Oh, is he gonna just get another one? That's cute. Woo. Even though I didn't, like, you know, damage the bullet, I guess it wouldn't have done damage to the Shy Guy, but... It's satisfying to just jump clean over one of those things that you're kind of supposed to bounce off the top of. I keep fucking that up, actually, uh, just not pressing the right button. Forgetting that that's a thing. Right. <laughs> like that when you try to activate, like, the first step, like, the baby part of the jump, but it kills the enemy, so you both just sort of, like, fall back into place, sort of awkwardly. <laughs> okay. And, like, Paper Mario is the same way. Okay. So, yes, they do have a stash stat, even though they are very obviously clean-shaven. Hmm. Uh... That's pretty good. Oh, yeah! We're gonna do the same exact thing for adult and baby. Although, I guess I should have done POW for Baby Mario in that case. They're Italian. It's like their God-given mustache that they will one day be granted. It's the hairs that are inside their follicles that have yet to sprout. Right, I forgot about these pipe elevators. Very satisfying sound design in these games. Okay, fast load times, too. In Superstar Saga, I remember that, like, having to wait quite a bit. Is this, like, a platforming challenge? No. I was like, the waves of fire are gonna come at us on the ground, I don't know. Yep. Wait, what did that say? Prince Bowser equals awesomeness. We're still tutorializing. <laughs> Basically. Whatever, I think we're pretty close to, uh, freedom. It's like, once we get... Once we get out of this area, I don't know. Oh, right. Weren't these... There was a... There was, like, a half block in... Superstar Saga, and now there's the quad blocks. So it'll be like a duo block. A quad block. Goo goo. He has such a way with words. God, the baby fights really drag on because they don't have a lot of damage. But I think this game is carefully crafted so that most of the time, if there's a baby's only fight, it's uh it's like with a weaker enemy. Maybe don't need to fight like every single enemy now. I feel like we're pretty we're, we're well leveled. 
there's never really that much of a danger of becoming underleveled in these games, because then it's just like, if you do feel like you're underleveled, then you just like, fight like, maybe ten enemies, and then you're caught up, you know. Alright. Now... It's like, see, they give you more coins, because they were giving me, like, times 10 coins, and then, like, times 20 coins earlier and shit. Okay, it seems I need to go around here. Okay. Is it like you hit one of these, and then you have to hit the other? You know what? Let's listen. No, not really. Explanification, is that what you just said? Luigi under the clearly visible one. Yeah. Okay. It's how I thought it worked. I displaced time to slow down this tutorial. Could you, like, do that during, like, a crucial moment in a boss fight, perhaps? Just casually mentioning you can displace time? What? Yes, these games also... Feeling underleveled is so... It's linked to, like... Oh, shit. It's like, if you can just dodge the attacks, you're not gonna feel very underleveled, yeah. Which most RPGs, even Paper Mario... I mean, Thousand Year Door has, like, parrying, where you take no damage, but a lot of the time in... RPGs like that, it's just like, I just take damage every turn, basically, and just mitigate it. Okay. Bullets. Blades, bullets, and babes. Andrew asked what TNT stands for earlier today on his Isaac stream. And I said, tits and tail. And I felt like, what was that, Danny Trejo that says, uh, babes, bullets, and blades, or whatever? Oh, shit. Oh, it's like I just have to fight, these are the cannon. I was like, I thought I would just have to fight the bullets like you do in Thousand Year Door. Uh. Nah. That one, so when he crouches, it's always delayed. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. I'm just gonna yeet him. Oh man, I thought it would kill him. Fuck. I keep getting japed by that. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Mario's on death's door here. Mario's dead. Oh god, his baby version carried him away. <laughs> dead. I think that's basically fine, though. <laughs> he didn't get any help. But nobody came. I like Baby Mario's animation where he spins around and then his hat, like, spins around after he does. Which is like, oh, I'm glad my brother didn't die. Okay. Let's mush it up here. We got so many of those. Uh, anyone else need any? No. Okay, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna get this. Bye-bye! Oh, you are about to be put in a grave! Ever since I, like, thought about these games, like, re recontextualized them in my head, as just Mario and Luigi just slaughtering tons of, tons of, like, enemies and just unique beings, it became a lot darker. That's really why this is the darker entry in the series. Haha! <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, what? I timed it right. I thought I pressed the right button. Maybe I just fucked it up. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna clean out this whole area. Fuck it. I don't even care anymore. We're gonna use a green shell on the uh, gun guys here, though. I don't want it to deal with all their attacks. So let's try this again. A, X, B, X. Oh, nice. Wow, destroyed. And let's get this guy too. Fuck it. By the way, using my trusty SNES controller for this, which is perfect for a lot of Nintendo stuff pre-GameCube. Even was good for Virtual Boy, but it works out perfectly for DS. It's got like the exact same button layout, same number of buttons. Good shit. <laughs> um... Stash or HP? Let's see what we got for Stash. Uh, could also just do, like, we could also just make every bro a total bruiser. Ah! Sucks. Just basically wasted a good roll. Not that I had anything to... Not that I had any choice in the matter. I'm sure that's something that, like, the task just... You get four every time, you know? Very Game Boy-esque sound effects. That's what partially what makes me think these are on the same engine, but I don't know. What the fuck? Oh, the shine block. I forgot about this bullshit. How exactly does this work again? I know the sign would probably tell me. Oh, let's just read it. Oh, okay. Right. So if I hit it... Then it will create light in the room above. Simple sis. This is there's no way to fail this unless you just fuck up walking. Which I would never do. Never. Ooh. Alright. <clears throat> what do we get? Oh shit, it's part of the Cobalt Star. What? Is this a meme? Is this Japes? This looks like terrible V tear. V sync. Uh it appears trashable. I want to eat it. Uh that block that we got it out of is kind of like the blocks in Bowser's Inside Story that are treasure chest shaped, right? They brought those back. Incalculable value. Look, it's got the clown car face. You see that? The clown car face on the ground there? Cute detail. Never noticed that. Was that the Superstar Saga, like, riff? Uh, I guess that's just to summon the babs. Alright. Will we see, like, a real area today? Place your bets. Wait. Luigi is higher level than everyone else? How did that work? There was one battle where Mario battled without Luigi. Oh, it's because Mario was dead for one, right? That's when Luigi got ahead? Or, uh, Mario, rather, died. I actually forget what I said. My correction may have been pointless. Uh, what is this? Is this, like, Birdo? Why is it a flowery room? <laughs> it's 
kind of reminds me of Hugo's arena in Third Strike, where he's just got a bunch of like presents for him in the background. The new time hole! Back to adventure! That is his catchphrase. I'd leap into your ridiculous hole any day of the week. Blathering Nincomputer. Let's go! <laughs> They're like, fuck you, old man. We'll drag you in kicking and screaming. That is the one, like, quirk that Stuffwell has, is the funny words. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> I don't know why that's, of all the things to, like, break, why it would be that specifically. But I guess it is. Okay, look there. That's our first world. Um, ugh! Okay. Probably not gonna go for a ton longer today. Hustleify. Always gonna hit that block. All right, what do you got for me, Egad? Yes. Right, he analyzes this thing for quite some time. There was, uh, I guess this is also minor spoilers for Bowser's Inside Story, but there was a shrewd secret mini boss in that game, right? Where you fight just like two random shrewds that are like frozen in a tank. I think. That was a cool moment in that game. It's kind of like Dark Souls 2, where, like, I feel like this game does not get referenced much outside of just this game. But that was one cute little reference in the future one. There was another time that, like... There was one really weird reference in that game, where in the theater... There's, like, the, like, Fawful Theater in uh, Bowser's Inside Story. And in the audience... There's just a shroob just sitting there. And I never, and you like, you can talk to it and just, and it just says dot dot dot, I think. I never understood, I was always like, uh, there's a shroob there, what is this? Like, what the fuck? What, what's, what is that? What, there's an alien there. And I thought like maybe they were gonna come back or something, but they don't. It's just there. Okay. So do you think that Baby Mario and Luigi have, like, shit themselves and just, like, smell like poop? <laughs> like, this whole game, they've just- they just poop. One hundred percent! I didn't hit the note. Oh god, it's reacting. Good gravy! You know? You know how I said that, like, the... Vo the like, the, the dialogue in this game, I wasn't gonna remember it? A lot of it is ringing a ton of bells, actually. <laughs> like, every time baby Luigi cries, it's not because something upsetting happened, it's because he just added a new load of poop to his already loaded gamer diaper. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Alright. Uh, and I think this is the Vor chapter that we're going to, right? It's like one of the first chapters in the game. I'll time your hole. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Bean Star. By the way, I have you may have noticed me heard me going like eh. uh, I have I have now laid down on my bed. I am now laying in bed playing this game. <laughs> I don't know why I've decided to do this. Sometimes I do that when I'm playing like Elden Ring and shit. There's a fair chance this new time all will lead you to more shards. I have defeated the shard bearer. Okay. God damn it. Badges. We don't need those stinking badges! There's a boomer fucking reference. Blazing Saddles, right? Is that what we don't need those stinking badges is from? I think it is. Oh boy, time to talk about badges. Put the dingus on the purple dealie! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Salvage. This like gives you more. Very slight chance of collecting items used in battle after battle. Okay. It's kind of like Apollyon Birthright. <laughs> I don't think I can get as broken in this game as I was in the other one, sadly. That's what the opening art today by uh, Sam Voss was uh, referencing. Was the mush badge shenanigans. Insta-killing, like, Iggy or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've only got two, so... Ooh. Fantastical. The tasty, tasty badge. Why is he so, like, horny for badges? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Feeble brain? Sorry, I just skipped past that, but did he say feeble brain? Yeah, Bowser's Inside Story had a, had a great badge system. I was watching Mike. Mike's been streaming that game. Jabroni Mike has been streaming the 3DS remake of Bowser's Inside Story, and, uh... It's part of what made me want to play this. Uh, and just that I played Superstar Saga pretty recently. Okay. Alien Predator. Alien vs. Predator? The badges are busted and let you one-shot bosses. Really? It was kind of like a super meter. I'm gonna have to try that out. <laughs> Hold on, let's go to the shop. We got a lot of coin. Yeah, I thought Bowser's Inside Story was really good up until the point where Mario and Luigi uh, get bigger while they're inside Bowser and it just like tears him apart, like Ant-Man and Thanos. There's a very strange change of tone to just throw in halfway in the game, but uh, otherwise it's pretty good. Okay, we've got plenty of everything, I think. I don't need refreshing herbs. I never use those. Cannonballer! Yeah, sure. Fuck, we got 400 coins. Just buy three of them. Right, and stash gives you a discount. We're probably gonna find plenty of these as we go along, but whatever. Okay, and this... Since we don't have- we basically have empty ring slots. Uh, easy badge. Come impervious to all status effects. That's pretty cool. Use any attack items as you like, but lose a lot of- As many attack items as you like, but lose a lot of power for practice. Okay. Let's buy that. And equip it to... Luigi? Fuck it. And then... Wallet badge. Eh, I don't really care about getting that one, honestly. Starchy jeans. Move too quickly, it may hurt. Uh... They do give higher defense. Eh, fuck it, I don't really care about getting those. Okay, now we're gonna go to we're gonna go save and then go to this new world. And then I'm probably gonna sign off pretty soon.
but I am having fun. These games just always have a slow start, and this one is the slowest of the starts, I think. It's just a little rough in that regard. Okay, what do we got? I think this is Dinosaur Island. I'm not sure, though. Villain! Uh, oh, right. I love the, like, sass between old and young Toadsworth. That was a fun part of this game. You're not clear to address her royal highness! <laughs> and old Toadsworth is just fucking stupid. Because he's like a doddering old man. Yeah, I haven't played Dream Team or Paper Jam or... Like Bowser's Minions, right? Castle deserted. Reference to how few NPCs are around. Alright. Oh no, Toadwood Forest, okay. I remember this part. This was like... This part's like the heaviest on the body horror. And like the scary aspect. Yeah, I heard Dream Team is basically as good as the first three, and that Paper Jam was meh as fuck. This music, dude. Fuck. Yoko Shimomura knows what she's fucking doing. What a legend. Is she still, uh, composing? Oh, right, you like... This is so, uh, Mario RPG-esque. Voice crack. Look at this. Help me. So, the, the premise of this area is that toads are getting sucked into the trees. They're like getting their life force drained. Shit's fucked. Shit. So this one I think you just spam, yeah. And this one I can't even do without, uh, the big guys, I guess? Okay, let's just use a green shell. Gween! She's the composer behind Kingdom Hearts, yeah. She, so she did Kingdom Hearts 3, for instance. Uh... Anything else? I don't know, she should be getting work, because she makes fucking amazing music. Ah! Okay, I'm kind of fucking up these green shells. Okay, good. Good. Fuck. That's not hard to avoid, I just suck. Die. There's a Kingdom Hearts 4? The recently announced Kingdom Hearts 4. What the fuck? I didn't even know that was a thing. That's so funny. Just that series, like, I know nothing about it, basically. Except that it's fucked. Like, just, it's so complicated and there's so many side games that, like, you have to, like, know the lore of to, like, understand what's fucking going on. It's just funny to me how fucked that series is. And, like, they're continuing it. You know? <laughs> it's like they're still going. I might just blast through, like, all of them at some point. Nice, Jesus. That is, uh, th those guys have a lot of health. But, we level. Nice. Should have ended with three. I mean, that's usually a nice ending point for series. <coughs> this series. Uh, although people said Dream Team was good. Uh, but... I, I, you guys know that I'm of the opinion that franchises and series should just fucking die when they've, when they've drained their, like, potential, you know? 
Like when they've gone on for long enough, we should just as a society come to terms with the idea of just letting go, you know? Like for instance, I would be fine with there never being another Mario game, just ever. Just like we have enough, like we just, we have enough. <laughs> we have enough Mario games. I like them, I'll play them, but... Let it die. Um... Yeah, like, I'm not that torn up about there not being more Mario RPGs, for instance. Like, people do complain and go like, Oh, you know, we got robbed of more Mario, Mario & Luigi RPGs, but it's like... I mean, we weren't really enjoying them that much anymore. Like... With Paper Jam and Bowser's Minions and shit. Actually, I mean, was Bowser's Minions any good? It was like a side story to Bowser's Inside Story, right? I never played it. Uh... What about Pikmin 4? I gotta be honest, as much as I like Pikmin, I would be totally fine with there never being another Pikmin game. Because <laughs> we got three amazing games. You know? I think another thing is like that stuff, that like energy that's like poking out of the ground, the, like poorly looped animation, now that I'm really examining it. That's like the spirit energy of the toads, like flowing underground. <laughs> Toadico. A named toad. And it's like, man, I, I don't know, maybe this is just me, it, it's, this is almost like selfish, but- Oh, Toad Bert! I feel like, I would so much rather have, like, I've talked about this before, Portal. I guess this doesn't really apply anymore because there is a bunch of other, like, Portal media now. But really, in terms of, like, main series Portal games, we have two. And they're both amazing and it's like to me portal is just it's like a perfect series to me because of that and it has such a high I, I like hold it in such high regard in my mind because of that and it's like if there was like a shitty like portal 3 and portal 4 and portal 5 and portal 6 or whatever wouldn't that sully it a little bit and I, I'm not, that's not to say that Portal 3 or 4 or 5 would be bad, but it's just like tempting fate, you know, when you're doing the same concept over and over again. Like, it's, it's almost guaranteed to get worse, you know? <laughs> Look at this, the shrewd procession. <laughs> I guess she doesn't have... A, I always, in my mind, was like, she just has an identical dress to Peaches, but it's got, like, alien embellishments on it. <laughs> the little shrew guy, like, sitting there, blink, blink, explaining their horrific plan. Our mushroom power. Right, Vim! And I think it's, like, Vim and Vigor, right? Like, that's where they got the word Vim. Funny. All right, wow, rumor has it that the Vim is concentrated at the Vim factory. Wow, yeah, no shit. No fucking shit. Shroobs equal conservatives. That's so true, they're constantly making people fuse with trees and sapping their life energy. The estrogen factory. Fucking conservatives, always with this tree bullshit. I think this character dies in front of our eyes, by the way. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> the shards. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Wow. 
I wish it was like Dark Souls where it would just say she is dead. You know? Or just dead. Okay. God, that shroob was like the pointing soy jack. What? Yeah, this game's dark. This is the area in particular that I was thinking of when I said that too. This is definitely the darkest part of the game. And it's like right at the beginning. Uh, okay, this should be easier with all the lads. Boom, easy. I tried doing, like, I tried pressing X on the impact on the counter hit there. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. Alright, like, I guess I should use, uh... I should use the items a little more, because... I'm sitting up, by the way. <laughs> I should use the items a little more, because we have the chance to get him back at the end of the fight. And we have so many, uh... We have so many green shells that we, like, might as well do it anyway. So what do we got for POW? Ah! Wasted. Losing Vim. Okay, is there another fight in here? No. I like the ones that yeet out a big coin for you to grab while you're out here. Alright. What do you gotta say? Nothing? He's dead! <laughs> yeah, alright! He's dead! By the way, the puppy that we were uh, dog sitting for has now left the house. Oh, this is an enemy! <laughs> Wait, what is it name? Elasto Piranha. I don't remember these guys. Does it have like little feet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome. You know... Was Smash Ultimate referencing this shit? With the stretchy neck move? I'm trying to think of like other times Piranha Plants have done that stretchy neck thing. I, I can't really think of any besides this and Smash. It's probably not a direct reference to this. Because they also just kind of like stretch their neck out of it. It's not like really stretching, but they just kind of come out of a pipe. Interesting. Wasn't- am I conflating the two, or in Geno's Woods in Mario RPG, wasn't there something just like this, where you, like, go into big logs? Ghost guy. Oh shit. Okay, he pointed at the guy. It's like, just don't point at the guy that you're gonna hit, man. You're just giving it away. So what is a cannonballer? Oh, right. Right! These are like Simon Says, basically. They're kind of fun. Uh, they're better for bosses, though, I think. Uh, you know? Hold on. I think the flowers can hit multiple opponents, can't they? Yeah. I think I'm only doing A and B, right? Yeah. God, that sound effect. It's like, with the amount of fireballs that I threw and the amount of damage that ended up being done, it's like each fireball is less than one damage. <laughs> okay, so that guy remains invisible. Weird. Fuck. It was a little too late. Whatever, we got so many mushrooms. We are... Our loins are festooned with shroom. guy. Yeah, let's -a go! Ma! Uh, okay. Somebody said that you hit X and Y to get flying enemies. 
Right, that, they like throw it in a big arc, right? Yeah. That's neat. Uh, was the ghost shy guy like more vulnerable to... No, I think it's just because it was like concentrated fire, actually. Literally. <laughs> Okay. I think everybody's dead. Yep. <laughs> All right. Cool. I think I need to go do something. There's like a puzzle down here. I remember this, actually. I need to send the babs down, and they need to like hit things into these blocks. Right? This this little area right here, this is a weird deep cut, but this reminds me of a part late on in Earthbound. The, like, underground part of Threed. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? This looks like the underground in Threed. I think it's just we do this without encountering enemies. I don't even know if it matters. Oh. <laughs> Any enemies? No. Oh. Uh, let's shell it, because I think the badge is on Baby Mario, something like that. I think everybody's favorite item in all of these games, though, has to be the one where you force-feed Luigi tons of, like, sweets and shit, and he becomes morbidly obese and crushes your foes. That shit is legendary. That attack alone is a good reason to play Bowser's Inside Story. Wow, they're, uh, they're really not dead yet. Some things like that move really feel like they were just trying to, like, have an excuse to use the double screen gimmick, you know? Oh, come on, die. Die. What? Die! There you go. Ooh. It's like my shoulder just did a weird thing. Okay, I hope I'm doing this right. Uh, maybe I should read that sign first. Hold on. Because it's like, I think I might need to hit these in a certain order. Throw with X or Y. Okay. Okay, Boomer. So I can only assume that I just need to bonk these from beneath. And there's no like special order I need to do them in or anything. Like, what are we doing right now? Are these sparkies? Do they have eyes? Kind of hard for me to tell. I think they do when they're moving, at least. I think they are. I'm, like, sitting kind of far away from the TV, so I can't really, uh... I mean, my Nintendo DS. All right. What happens now? Oh, it's gonna burn the trees. No, there were toads getting sucked up by those trees. Now they're dead. Fuck! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go up here with just Mario and Luigi. Cause I bet- yeah, there's a pipe here. Easy! Gamer brain! Um... <laughs> Probably weak, uh... I like how even their their text box, they don't even have a text box, their text just like displays on the screen. They're so weakened. 
Five, 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 five. That's what you want. It's like a fake phone number in a movie. Oh, shit. Factory ahead. This is a newly sucked toad. Uh, oh. Unarmed jeans. I wonder what those do. I don't care quite enough to actually look. And I am, uh, I am gonna sign off soon. I think this area, I remember you have to do like a puzzle where you have to get these two towers on either side to, uh, like a shoot a laser at the center or something. Uh, but I think that's gonna be an adventure for next time. I, I would go longer, but, uh, it's just kind of exhausting playing a game that's so tutorial heavy. I feel like I need to go, like, do something else for a while. <coughs> oh, right, I remember this too. There's a thing inside here to, like, control the platform. Love that. That's like a very Xavier Renegade Angel flute sound. Wallet badge, okay. I guess that's the same. We already have one of those. Or no, I passed up buying one of them at the shop. Also, <gasps> Okay. This is riveting. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Make it flush! And that just leads to that, for whatever reason. Let's -go. Yeah, let's -go. go. And I'm just gonna, like, burn these fuckers to death. But I think we are now officially in the game proper. One! Because they're, like, armored? Okay. Great. Cool. Thanks. Woo. Uh... Fuck. It's, er it's harder doing the earlier ones, I swear. Okay, these guys are actually very tanky. Considering our damage. And the fact that there's three of them is mildly upsetting, although their attack is like the easiest fucking thing to dodge. So many attacks you can account for by just hitting both bros' uh, attack buttons at the same time. Bro, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, right, that one like moved. That was actually the one I'd been targeting the most. It's kind of funny that they move around the arena and then just stay there. They don't, like, revert back to their normal battle position. I, I, there's really not a lot of enemies in the series that do that, I feel like, actually. This is a pretty unique enemy in that regard. Never even really picked up on the fact that they were doing that. Uh, it is kind of a fucking snooze fest dodging their moves, though. <laughs> Bye. Didn't even get a level up from that. Is there anything over here? A squeakrit? Okay, I think this is one of these, yeah. And we need to solve the puzzle. Can I even hit it? No. Travel advisory. While hiking, if you find blocks that are too high to hit, jump while carrying babies. Right. I remember this. And then I gotta yeet him in. Oh shit, wait, no. 
<laughs> if you jump too fast, then it doesn't work. That's cute. This is a good game. This is a good game. Oh yeah, we gotta get the claws lit up. Okay. Now, what's in here? I thought this was gonna be like related to the solution to that puzzle, but it wasn't. It's so many of those 100 coin things. I think prices are a little higher in this game as well, though. Okay. <laughs> I've I've already reached the point where I'm running past enemies a lot more. There's something so graceful about the little spin that Mario does in midair. When you do the like team jump. People are talking about uh like Twitch username colors. Like, can we even control that? Yes, you can. And can I tell a story about this? Uh... I, for the longest time, was verified on Twitch. A partner, Twitch partner, for like a year now or so, maybe two years. And I realized recently that everybody else who's verified gets a little purple check mark next to their name in chat. And I don't. And I was like, what the fuck is up with that? I should be getting my cool, like, street cred in Twitch chats, but I, I am not. What's up with that? And so I like looked it up and I looked in the settings on Twitch and I could just find nothing. And there were some things that were like, oh, there's like chat appearance settings, you know? And uh, so I went into the settings and I just could not find the window. It literally wasn't there. Like the window that other people said was there just wasn't there. And what I eventually found was that on mobile, I could change it. The settings window that is just blatantly not there on PC is there on mobile Twitch. So I went into mobile Twitch and there was in fact a setting to turn on the badge for the check mark. So yes, now in chat, witness, I have a check mark next to my name. Boom. <laughs> it only took like a year or two to get to it. So uh, yeah. I'm aware I did the little thing next to the chat box. I did that. It, the option literally was not there. It, like, you have to believe me. It, it, it literally would not give me the option unless I was on mobile. It was fucked. What? but now I have the funny check mark. Still don't have it on Twitter. I think Twitter, it's literally just like, actually I have a funny story about Twitter verification too, because one time I looked at Twitter and next to my name on one of my posts was the blue verification check mark. And then I refreshed the page and it was gone. Like what the fuck? I saw a ghost. It was literally just like a random like HUD glitch, I guess. But that's one of those things where, like, I don't even know... Like, it's just something that happens to you. Okay. Oh shit, I hit Y to do that. But it still worked. But I couldn't hit Y to confirm the attack. It's a little weird. Hey -ho! Right, let's see what he's got for Stash. Actually, was Stash the thing I upgraded last time? Let's try it. Ah! Fuck, man. The thing is, I, I care a lot less. I, I, I think... I, actually, now that I'm really searching my feelings, I don't really care at all about getting Twitter verified. Twitch verified, at least, is, like, related to, like, my, my livelihood. But Twitter verification is just like, I mean, who fucking cares? Have you seen those people that, uh... They use the diamond emoji to, like, pretend to be verified? That's pretty, that's pretty funny. 
and like stupid. They'll put like the little diamond emoji next to their name so that at first glance they look like they're verified. It's like, wow, could you have less credibility as a human being? Like seriously, if you tried, could you be less credible? I don't think that you could. Uh, gamer move? Yeah, gamer move. Absolute gamer. It is like mimicry in animals. Except animals have a way better reason to do it. Okay, I guess we are gonna open this place before the stream is over. A family. It's like I've never seen someone do something so pathetic to get so little credibility, you know? I like the sound when that thing was unlocked. How did I know? It was gonna be another hundred coin. Now I guess we're just gonna mosey on back. It's always like the biggest fucking pricks on earth too who do that. <clears throat> As if that needed any saying. down. A lot of these areas, I, I remember feeling this in Superstar Saga as well. I remember them taking ages to complete, and then it's like actually playing them, it's going by so fast. Is that just an obstacle? Thought maybe there was like a secret block there or something. Oh, I was off. Huh. This is not the best game mechanic. At least it's a little better than Superstar Saga's, like, bicycle blocks. Remember those? Where it was like... Jump back and forth. Jump back and forth! It's not fun like Dare, though. Uh, it was like, just jump repeatedly to make the thing move. And he's like, wow, we, this is fun. I am having fun in a video game. It was like one of the dumber parts of Superstar Saga. It's just like, this is just wasting everyone's time. Okay, I don't know really why I'm trying to get all these. Okay, at least it wasn't all just singular coins. And now, it is so fucked that you automatically jump when switching to Mario there. No, this- no, it's all correct. This part did take a million years. It's like, how can I switch to Mario without jumping? That's so fucked. Whatever, maybe I'm just not supposed to. But there's that thing that, like, you don't bump into. Maybe just stop- hit the stop button. You know? Blum, 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 blum. Steve Bloom. Voice of Spike and 10 trillion other things. So let's move it over here. Hup. There you go. Boom. It was worth it. One up super, baby. Okay. <laughs> Glad Mario did not get shoved off there. A shove off, Luigi. You were always holding me back. Oh, oh, bro. God, there's a lot here. <clears throat> do I care enough? No. No, I do not. Get me out of here. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, let's, uh, hold on, let's go down. There's probably another pipe block down here, and we can save. There was not a pipe block, but we can save. Where are the babies? I was really hoping.
hoping that we would not have to, uh... Oh my god, so much damage! Can we just roast him? <laughs> yeah. Why am I so bad at this, actually? One of them only took one damage. Pathetic. This is actually kind of insane that they had me encounter, what, six of these at once? Oh, we are destroying them! Oh my god. That's- oh, I was like, that's the guy that took one damage. Survivor. Killed. Mercilessly. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Give me a pipe block, though. That'd be cool. Here we go. Alright, and... Nothing over here, this is just the rest of the level. Okay. I remember the inside of this facility, too. It's very pink. The, the shrooms just have a cool color scheme. I like pink and purple. God, this music. <laughs> right! This is the area with- oh my god, everything's coming back to me. The faces in the background on the, like, the little dials and shit. The big tree boss that I think has like a booger coming out of its nose or something. I think Luigi gets stuck in its nose. And then this is the area with the internet speak, the leet speak hammer bros are in this area. That's hype. Uh, but unfortunately we're gonna have to save it for next time. Uh, guys? Do I have... Is there a limit to the amount of coins you can carry, or do I just coincidentally have 999 coins? Is it like you get a bigger wallet later on or something? The fuck? But, uh, yeah. Sorry, two and a half hours, that's usually where I cut it off. It's just a nice, comfortable... It's like the length of a feature film. <laughs> so, sorry, guys. I'm having a good time too, but I am... My brain is also sort of fried from all the tutorialization and shit. So, uh... Fun game, though. I'm having a good time. I don't know, it might... This game might be a little mid. Like, very slightly mid. Like, I'm not just gonna try to, like... I'm, I'm gonna try to see past my nostalgia. It might be very slightly mid. I don't know. Like, the enemies have just been kind of like, uh, whatever, so far. But I'm sure we will encounter some greatness in this game, too. I remember it being really cool at a lot of parts. So, uh, yeah. Is there- it is a coincidence, huh? Interesting. That's funny that it just was exactly 999. I mean, it definitely looks like you can hold more than that, and like, with the amount of coins they've been giving me, I'd be surprised if that was the limit. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, no stream later today. It's actually 7.30, even though it is... It literally looks like it's 4 p.m. out right now. I know there are some people who get very exasperated whenever people note the changes in the seasons, but it is surreal. It is surreal that it is 7.30 and completely bright out. Uh, so I'm gonna go enjoy the day. <laughs>